What's up everybody? You already know, it's the Duel of King, back with another video. I'm gonna bring you another part just to give you an update on what I got done on this truck. Um, you know what I mean? I've been trying to go ahead on and work on it as much as possible. That ain't always the case, but I'm trying to get done as much as what I can. It ain't gonna make it out this summer, but you know what? I feel good about how far it is right now. So anyway, let's go ahead on and jump right on into it. This is my project right here. It's a uh, 90, hell, 90 something. I think it's like a 94 Chevy C3500. I uh, don't mind the inside, but I got the dash torn apart. I'm trying to debate if I want to go ahead and do a, um, trying to go ahead and debate if I want to go ahead and do a, a Cadillac dash swap or something along those lines i'm not for sure or if i want to go ahead and keep the original dash on in place but um the last time that y'all seen this the front end was torn apart um so i do got it back together now uh as you've probably seen in some of the last uh video um i did go ahead on and do the uh, uh drilled and slotted rotors uh new calipers stainless steel uh brake lines um kryptonite uh tie rod ends um cup the control arms stuff like that i also was putting the slosh tubs in but all of that stuff's in now so now i gotta go ahead on and take the battery i can't put it up under the hood no more because of the slosh tubs so i'm gonna mount that up underneath the truck i ain't got that far yet but i did get it back together got the front end aired up right now so right here that's the uh max height you know what i mean that you know it goes up these tires are sewn and come off of my blue dodge uh those are already 32 inches tall um obviously new fender uh new hood uh four inch Kyle induction hood let's see also got the new bumper uh that balance was already on the truck when i got it uh i gotta go ahead and put the new headlights and stuff in it um also got a new grill to go all the way across here with the billet inserts and stuff. I just ain't got to it yet. Yep, so so anyway, that's that. Um, let me go ahead on and pop this hood for you. So anyway, you can see right here, I got them uh, slosh tubs in there. Um, my battery cable just hanging because it ain't no spot to put all of that. But uh, you can see it looks real nice in there. It's dirty and stuff. I do. Uh, I also got some wham rods for the hood. I just ain't put them in yet. So, but this is a fully functional um, hood scoop for the hood. All of that stuff. is uh aired up right now i got so i got my little makeshift air valve right here um that way i can kind of that way i can kind of you know what i mean go ahead and lift it up how i want when i want without having to use the compressors and switches and batteries and all of this stuff so um but i'll go ahead and show you exactly how low it gets in the front and uh you already know my plans was to uh build it on 26s still contemplating on the eights uh, I don't know which route I'm gonna really go on it you know what I'm saying between the two but I kind of want to do something that everybody else ain't doing and probably can't do and I kind of want to just think outside of the box and just have kind of like that one-of-a-kind deal so that's the reason I kind of been steering away from like the 24s and stuff like that um, so but uh, yeah let me go ahead on and air this thing out for you man you know what I mean it gets pretty low um, it's already on stock control alarms and stuff like that um, since I got the dash out I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, moving up my wire harness, uh, cut out a little bit for uh, for my tires so they don't rub. So when I slam all the way down, I can at least go straight. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let this bitch down.
play frame to be happy. You know what I'm saying? Different strokes for different folks. I'm completely content with that right there. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't laying no rockers, but I'm totally okay with that. Like I said, I probably couldn't have, you know what I mean, really cleared them big old sixes or eights anyway. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I want to get as low as possible. But anyway, like I said, that's how low she lays right there. The back is already, um, it's got an actual flip and all of that stuff. Watch one of a couple of my other videos and you know, you can get all the details on that. But I think that that's pretty, pretty cool. You know what I mean? So a little bit of tuck action right there. a little update on this truck um she's making <laughs> very little progress but some is better than none um excuse my mess i know i got stuff everywhere i do have a sliding rag top four which i i, I told y'all that a lot uh, a couple videos ago anyway um i got my dash all pulled out um thanks to my Got my dash all pulled out thanks to my homeboy t money um he came over here got it on out for me and helped me and all of that good stuff um so but i am um uh getting this bagged on 26s so um i thought about actually going 28s and even 30s i don't need all that i just want to be content with what i'm what i'm working with so anyway this is right here is already um dropped but I do got to do a wheel well modification um, so that I can get about another inch and a half worth of clearance on getting that tire up in this fender. So uh, I can't lie, that wheel is stuffed and I love the look. I don't care about laying frame, you know what I'm saying? But the point that she's going to be on air and on sixes and candy paint and everything like that when it's all said and done, I'm going to be content. So, but anyway, this is her. You see it, it's on them uh, DK Forge wheels. So that's my design, um, you know what I mean? Especially tailored to me. I haven't even did this for no customer, nothing like that. So, but uh, I love the way that that tucks off up in there. And just, you know, keep in mind that that's gonna go up in there a little bit even higher. Probably roughly about an inch and a half, maybe two inches or so like that. Um, you know to get that up in there some more uh you know like i said after i cut out that wheel well um but i love that look it's gonna be on billet center caps um and then hopefully by next year she's all painted up interior done stuff like that so uh but i've been a little bit busy i got that done um you know like i said i got my my slosh tubs in here I still gotta go ahead and uh, run my shock from uh, here to here uh, with my wham rods. Um, hopefully I go ahead and get this thing back running. I did go ahead on and mount, I did go ahead and mount my battery underneath the truck. I ended up getting a uh, yellow top uh, gel battery. Um, so I relocated my battery from underneath the hood and I'm actually running it underneath the cab now. It's actually underneath one of the um, floorboards or something like that. So. I welded in a brace, um, got that all done. 
So I got to go ahead on and run my wires now to go ahead and get it started. And then I can go ahead and uh, start moving my truck around and stuff like that. That actually helped me out to keep me from having to push it and do this and do that. So once I get that front end tied on up, you already know it's off to the back. My homeboy Tony Newman is supposed to come by here, help me out. Hopefully he do, but if not, it ain't no thing, you know what I mean? I ain't got no problem with going ahead on and jumping head first into something. So, um, But either way it go, I can't wait to go ahead and get this thing back. I got a lot of plans for it. Um, so anyway, just make sure y'all stay tuned. I thought that y'all would love to go ahead on and see the little bit of progress that I'm making on this truck. Um, so go ahead and jump in that comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you like that new wheel design that I just came up with. Um, if you like it, cool. If not... You know what I mean? That's still cool. But other than that, um, that's it for the moment. So just stay tuned. I'm sure I got more to show you.